Hi everyone, welcome to my art channel. My name is Soraya. So I already started on a canvas and didn't work out, so I decided to go a totally different direction. I'm gonna use like a split canvas, like part of it will be black and the other half will be white and I've got gorgeous metallic colors and then I'm gonna blow it out. Um, cross my fingers, cross your fingers that it works out. So let's see what happens. So this is a 12 by 24 inch uh, canvas, gallery wrap canvas, as you can see. I tried something on it, wasn't too happy, so I'm going a totally different direction. I'm gonna use some black and white, and I'm gonna split it in half, and then use some colors in the middle. So um, let's see what happens. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and click on the bell icon to receive all notifications. So I love the simplicity of the split, black and white, beautiful. But I always push the envelope a little bit, and um, you'll see what I mean as the video continues. How'd I get black in there? Oh, look what I did. My cup went, oh well. <laughs> That's what happens sometimes, not paying attention. Okay. Luckily dipping that cup in the black as I was pouring the white really made no difference at all. It's just uh, something that happens. Look at that nice lacing here. Beautiful. Okay, now the colors are just gonna be a little bit of gold. I think I'm gonna go right down the middle. And this is pewter, Art Deco pewter. And this is Arteza, it doesn't have a name. It just says A703, A703. It's a lovely color. I'm gonna put a little bit of that. Ooh, it's very pretty. I'm gonna put more. <laughs> and this is also Arteza, it's A702. They are both metallic. Pretty much everything here is metallic other than the white and the black. All right, that's beautiful. So I do love the contrast of the black and white and how different the colors look when blown on one side or the other. I love it when lacing just appears. It's like magic. I also love it when I see gold going on top of black. It's very elegant. Very pretty. I like that. There's a lot of beautiful shimmer from those uh, colors. I don't like this color here now. It looked nicer when I poured it down. I'm gonna cover it up. This pewter is too much. I'm gonna put a little bit more white here too. So as you can see, I keep working until I see something that I really, really like. So as it is now, I'm loving the way it looks between the darker side and the lighter side, but it was a bit too light and I'm trying to add some kind of interest point, a focal point. 
So I thought I'd give you a little bit of a different perspective, uh, the way I see things. So if this is from my side as I'm blowing it out. So already I'm getting excited because I can see the potential in this, but you'll see that it gets even better. The painting changed from my original idea, which is fine. I always say keep going and uh, work with the painting. It tells you which direction it's going to go. So once I blew it out again, I didn't like to see that pewter uh, uh, color right there. So I wanted to add the black, white and some gold to balance out the painting. And since I was adding the gold in the blowout section, I just decided, as you can see, very easily get uh, some gold and, and disperse it throughout the painting. That, when it dried, made a huge difference. Okay, so I did play around with it just a little bit more and I'm glad I did. I really like the way it's looking now. Um, just stick with me. I'm going to show you what I do with this. Um, I'm going to do more to it, I think. Just uh, be back here in one second. And here it is dried up. It dried beautifully. I'm super happy with the way this looks. Love these additions of the gold. I am not sure if I'm going to add anything or do anything to it. I'm still thinking about it. Um, I, I think it looks beautiful all on its own. So I have to uh, think about it. But stick with me. I'll be back in one second. Okay, so it's been a few days. I've been looking at this painting and I love it. And then uh, when I look at this really dark area, I keep thinking that I should change it. Maybe add a little bit more of white in there. Um, and I think that's what I'm going to do now. So as you can see up close, there is a bit of uh, wispiness that's happening here. It's not totally black, and I like that. But I'd like to have a bit of white, I think, going into here. Um, I don't know. I'm going to start and see what happens. Just a bit of paint on there. Now I started off with a pretty good base here and this is the time to let your imagination go and just think about where the painting and how the painting could improve. You're, I'm not just doing it because I just want to, uh, which I do, I love to do this, but it's also a, a good for the painting. It changes the painting for the better. Just added a little bit of water and you see that how much it changes. It becomes a lot. Because it's wispy in there, that's what I'm trying to say. It's very wispy this kind of look and I want to keep it that look that way. 
by adding that bit of water just dilutes it and makes it that look that I'm after. Haven't had, uh, haven't added any more paint. Just what's on the brush, that little bit. It's getting a bit much here. Hands are always the best tools, right? <laughs> I often show you that I use Liquitex Matte Medium, which works beautifully. In this case, I just wanted it to be a little bit more diluted, a little bit runny, you could say, um, for the effect that I was going for. And now I do love to enhance paintings, uh, but really it is up to the uh, individual artist. It, this painting could have been uh, blown out and left as it was. I think it was very lovely as well. I just like to have my own touch to it. And uh, by adding these uh, enhancements, it makes the painting my own. If you've watched my channel, you can, uh, you'll can you know that most of my paintings are very large. So you can see here how long it's taking me to do just this area. And you can imagine what it, how long it takes for me to take to uh, enhance one of those really large paintings. So I really take a lot of time with my paintings and um, until you know I love it and that it's complete in my eyes. Decided I'm going to add a little bit of this crimson color, Artist Loft. Again, it, there's barely anything on there. Just to bring up some of this uh, rose color up here. Lately, I've been enjoying really adding just subtle colors uh, to neutral base. And this one, even though it had some color in it, um, I think it still looks really subtle overall. You'll see how much it changes as I keep painting, so keep watching. I'm gonna add a little touch here and there as well, just to have a balance throughout, just in the dark areas. A balance throughout the painting. <laughs> I don't finish my thoughts. I know what I wanna say. <laughs> Okay. I'm going to add some highlights right along here because there's so much contrast. It'd be, it would create, it's creating a lot of contrast by having this against the black. 
Look at that difference. Wow. Okay, I think I'm done. I really like the way that softened up this dark area with like a hole here. And I uh, love the highlights here and that this seems to just keep going. I always like my paintings to have a really far point in them. Like a that's definitely the focal point in this painting. But it also I also want it to seem like it just keeps going and going. Um, so this is it. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with it. I'm really like loving this uh, color combination. So click on the link you see now to see more of my enhanced pores and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this painting.